Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Russell Matthews here, and today we're going to take a look at a product called the Ledger Nano X, which boasts that it's one of the most secure ways to protect your cryptocurrency. Now, the Ledger Nano X is a cold storage wallet, which makes it quite a lot more secure than just keeping your cryptocurrency on whatever platform you buy it on or in a hot wallet. When you hold the private keys to your cryptocurrency in a cold storage wallet like this, it greatly reduces the risk that something could happen to this cryptocurrency because you actually have custody of it and you are the one who is in control of it. Now, if you choose to leave your cryptocurrency in the place that you bought it, whether it be Gemini or Coinbase, Bitbuy, or my personal favorite here in Canada, Newton, you are running the risk that that security system could be breached and as a result, your cryptocurrency could be compromised. So the idea is that with a cold storage wallet like the Ledger Nano X, you're going to be able to secure this cryptocurrency yourself and eliminate that risk of third-party security issues. So in today's video, we're going to unbox this Ledger Nano X and we're going to go through how you can get it set up and along the way I'll share my thoughts about my experience with the product. And just to let you know, I bought this product with my own money. Ledger didn't send it to me. It's not sponsored by Ledger this video. Uh, there is a referral link in the description if you decide you want to buy one where I'll make a little bit of money off of that sale. But again, I bought this with my own money so I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on it. All right, so let's take a look at what's inside here if I can get this open. All right, we'll take off the plastic. It's actually a pretty small box, pretty compact in size, just like uh, I believe the Ledger Nano X itself is. So once we get through here, it sort of just uh, should slide out here if I can get it to. Yeah, there we go. All right, and let's see what it looks like as we open it up. Uh, I like that like that presentation. It's very uh, very sleek, very small. It's about the size of a, a USB thumb drive, like a like a, um, a jump drive. You might have uh, might have called it. But yeah. Okay. So it's super super small, super compact, and uh, yeah. Okay. So that you can pull it out um, right away, and uh, there's no sort of uh, documentation inside until we dig in a little further. And it's sort of like this uh, this switchblade design. Okay, interesting. I'm looking forward to figuring out exactly how all of this works and how you can actually store your keys on here. Okay, so we'll set that aside for now and see what else we get in the box with it. Okay, a little welcome guide here. Hello, getting started. All right, okay, so there's a whole bunch of documentation inside here. Hopefully that's gonna help us out with the setup and also a, uh, a typical USB-C to USB cable so we can connect it to our computer to get it set up. Now with the Ledger Nano X, I believe that uh, this is unique because you're, you're actually able to, um, to access this via Bluetooth on your phone. Now I believe that they don't actually send over any sensitive data over Bluetooth, only just the ability for you to manage it but not send it, no private key will be sent over Bluetooth, so it's secure in that sense. And inside the documentation package, there are actually a couple handy things here. Uh, they have a couple of these recovery sheets, and you can use these recovery phrase cards to keep track of your recovery phrase for the uh, cold storage wallet, because if you are ever to lose this, uh, I know I can tend to lose some small things like this, you're going to actually be able to re restore your cryptocurrency by uh, remembering this recovery phrase. So you can uh, write down the recovery phrase and and sort of store this in different places so that uh, even if you do in a worst case scenario lose the cold storage wallet you're not going to be totally out of luck and after the recovery cards we've got a getting started guide and use care statement and then we also get some stickers that's awesome now looking at the actual product, when we slide this open, it kind of has a sort of switch blade function here to open up. And you'll notice these two circles. These are actually the buttons that you're going to use to navigate uh, with the device on this uh, screen right here. And I always like this part. You can slide off that plastic covering and nice, oh, we got a nice slick screen there with those two buttons again, and it can just fold right up into this uh, sort of switch blade design. Now to get this actually up and working, we're going to have to download the Ledger live app. Let me show you what that looks like. Once you download it from the Ledger website, you'll see a page like this and we can click get started. Of course, you're going to have to uh, read all of this and uh, make sure you agree with everything. I'm doing what we all always do, going to the bottom and entering the Ledger 
app. Now you're going to be able to choose which product you bought. There are three different selections you can choose from. We're going to go with Nano X because of course that's what we've got. And here's how we can set it up. So you'll see there are two different options here for a first time user or to recover. Remember we talked about that recovery phrase. If you were to lose your cold storage wallet and you wanted to restore it, you could buy another one and then use your recovery phrase that you were storing in a separate location to uh, sort of recreate the cold wallet that you had before. But for us, of course, we're going to click this uh, new setup. And eventually they'll take you to this setup screen. Now for security reasons, I'm obviously not going to show you how I set up my recovery phrase and my pin codes. Obviously, you shouldn't share this with anybody because again, this is what's going to keep your private keys safe and off of the internet so that it's 100% safe and in your custody. Throughout this process, you'll navigate on your actual nano ledger and you'll have to set a pin code so you can access it and have that be a little bit more secure. And you'll also be given a recovery phrase. Now this is 24 words that you're going to write down on that card that we looked at a little bit earlier. And you're going to want to write that down a couple different times and store it in a very secure place. Because remember, if you lose your ledger, this is the only thing that can restore the private keys to your cryptocurrency. Once you have the actual hardware device up and running, you're going to need to transfer over the cryptocurrency that you, so that you can manage it with your cold wallet instead of the hot wallet that it may be in right now. To do that, you're going to click add an account and you're going to choose which type of crypto asset that you're going to store in this section of the ledger wallet. You can hold a, a huge number of different cryptocurrencies just on the one wallet. But for now, we're just going to go the, the simple route and we're just going to set it up for Bitcoin and we're going to go through this process. You connect your device to your computer and you have to install the Bitcoin app actually on the ledger device. You can install various numbers of apps for different cryptocurrencies so that your ledger is set up to handle that type of cryptocurrency. For now, we're just going to install Bitcoin, but you can install whichever app you need for whichever cryptocurrency you're planning on holding. You can click the install button here. Again, this is while your ledger is actually linked up to your computer and you can wait for it to install. And once it is, we can go on to the next step. Once you have that account set up, you can choose from a number of different options here. Um, but what we're going to do to get started to actually transfer the cryptocurrency to be managed on the ledger is to click receive. Now you'll be able to go through the process to reveal the wallet address of your ledger so that you can effectively send cryptocurrency from whatever um, place you're buying it over to this address. Now my favorite place to buy cryptocurrency is here on Newton. I've made a video going over how you can set up an account and why I believe this is one of the best places to buy it, specifically in Canada. If you're a Canadian watching this, this is a great place to do it. So check out the link in the description where you can actually open up a Newton account as well and receive a $25 bonus. But once, you've, you, once you're inside of your account, whether it be Newton or some other option, you're going to click withdraw and you can withdraw the cryptocurrency that you're holding inside of that account and send it over to your ledger. So I'm going to send crypto to a wallet and I'll be able to paste in the address that my ledger gave me on that app previously I'm not going to share that on this video but you're going to paste that address in here so that Newton or whatever option you're using to buy your cryptocurrency knows where to send it so I'm going to send over the Bitcoin that I have available in my Newton account over to my new ledger so I'm going to click max that'll max that out and then I'm going to copy and paste my address of the ledger that I want to send it to into this box now as we wait for that transfer to go through let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of using a hot wallet or a cold wallet now with a cold wallet, like I talked about before, you're eliminating this third party risk um, where if a, an account is compromised, like on a Newton or on a BitBuy or on a Gemini, if there's any sort of security breach, you would be protected because your cryptocurrency would no longer be stored there. Your private key would be stored on your ledger. But now the downside is that certain hot wallets actually allow you to earn interest on the crypto you keep inside of it. And this is why I hold a lot of my cryptocurrency in a hot wallet, specifically block BlockFi. With BlockFi, you can earn interest on all of the cryptocurrency that you have around 6 or 7%, depending on which cryptocurrency it is. If you haven't already created a BlockFi account, there's a link down in the description where you can start earning interest on your cryptocurrency while holding it at the same time. Now, these same sort of third-party risks are there with BlockFi as well, but if you're not holding in a cold wallet like the Ledger Nano X, then I'd recommend certainly holding in a hot wallet that pays you for taking the risk of holding it in the hot wallet through interest. Interest. And now that the transaction has been processed, we can start sort of monitoring how much that cryptocurrency is worth. I think this is likely in US dollars, but you can sort of track your um, 
how much is held on the ledger itself over time and you can sort of see what your asset allocation is and um, when you've received or sent any sort of transactions that have gone on so you can sort of use this hub on your computer as a way to sort of keep track of what's going on with the cryptocurrency that is protected on your ledger nano x but that's just a quick walkthrough of this ledger nano x product i'm pretty impressed with it and it's pretty easy to use and pretty easy to set up and again it gives you this option of having the cold storage which is totally in your protection rather than relying on these third-party websites now if you're looking to pick one up there's a link in the description where you can do so and uh, hopefully you found this at least a little bit helpful so you can know what to expect if you're considering buying this my personal plan is to hold a little bit of cryptocurrency in a hot wallet like BlockFi that pays me interest on my money but then also as a sort of safety precaution hold some also on the ledger nano x so that in the event that any of these websites or these services like uh, like BlockFi have any problems I still have at least some of my cryptocurrency that I'm holding stored right here in a cold storage wallet and let me know what you think in the comments did I miss anything do you have any questions again I'm just a regular guy who's trying to figure all of this stuff out myself but I figured as I'm trying to figure it out sharing it with you would be at least a little bit helpful and I hope it has been but with all that said thank you so much for watching everybody I hope this video helped you out at least a little bit and I'll see you next time this channel is supported by viewers like you thanks channel members